Okay. So I, uh, just talking to DJ and some guys yesterday, it sounded like halftime was a pretty uh, heated moment, maybe uh, emotional uh, in College Station. Can you describe that moment? And have you had moments like that in the past in, in this team, in this program, where there was a moment like that where we're such in a highly charged environment? Uh, yeah, we, you know, we've been through uh, some adversity in the past ever since I've been here. I know there's been times where we've had to go through cer certain situations like that. And we came in the locker room, we kind of knew that uh, the way we played in that first half and even in the rest of the game was just not to our standard and not to what we uh, expect out of ourselves and as a team. So we, uh, you know, tried to come together as best we can to improve on that and to finally meet our standard, which I still think we need to improve on. Nick. Hey, Slade, uh, as a, you know, for your position or anyone who's catching passes, um, are drops something that can be uh, fixed in practice, or how do you guys go about improving when there are drops? Uh, drops, you know, it's it's definitely a repetition thing. Uh, it can also be, um, you know, just having confidence in your hands. Uh, but doing that, building confidence, takes reputa reputation. And, you know, that's getting on the jugs or catching extra balls after practice and just working on different, uh, you know, hand – you know, skilled hand work. You know, there's definitely definitely things that you can to improve confidence, also improve uh, the way you catch a ball. So, yeah, there are definitely ways to improve on catching. Charlie. Hey, Slade. Um, you know, Jamison is coming off of a, a big game performance-wise. Just what kind of spark has he provided you guys offensively and from a receiver standpoint? Uh, you know, Jamison coming over was definitely a big attribute to our offense. Uh, very fast guy, uh, obviously. Uh, knows the offense very well, uh, plays hard, uh, plays fast, and has good hands, and he has everything he wants as a receiver. So uh, definitely helps as an offense, you know, having another uh, skilled guy and have another uh, target to hit for Bryce. Jeff. So like DJ mentioned, there were probably a lot of teams out there judging judging from the film you got uh, have put out, especially in the last two road games that felt like they can beat you. Uh, what kind of statement does this team to make on Saturday in Starkville? Well, it all starts today. Um, you know, it all starts today, today at practice, uh, getting back to our mindset and getting back to the Bama standard that we uh, want to reach, uh, whether, you know, that's working hard every day, uh, putting in the right effort, knowing the game plan. And if we do that willingly, knowing that we are able to reach that standard, I think we'll uh, be able to prove to everybody what kind of team we are in the right way. Mike. Yeah, Slade, when things weren't going well there in the first half, you know, down by 14 on the road, what was it like on the sideline? And who are the voices, whether it's coaches or players, that you're kind of listening to at that point? Uh, you know, I think there's a, there's a handful of guys that um, were kind of going around trying to not only keep, keep each other up, but also making sure that we stayed on the task at hand and stay in focus, you know, and not uh, letting a few mistakes or uh, a few mishaps in the game. Um, lead to something even worse. So there's a you know, there's a handful of guys, you know, offensively and defensively going around and just making sure that we all uh, stay calm, stay focused, and continue to uh, play the game. Tony. Yes, yeah, Slade, we saw Christian Leary kind of working with the running backs. As somebody that worked with him as a receiver, uh, what does he offer at that position? And then also as a receiver who's kind of has experience in the backfield, uh, did you give him any advice or, or you know, how to, how to do anything over there? Well, you know, I'm, I'm letting uh, Coach Gillespie uh, do that part. He's, you know, he, uh, he's done a good job so far. Um, but, yeah, Christian definitely brings a, a quickness. Uh, you know, he has good ball skills. Um, you know, I, I never got to really see much in high school, but based off what I've experienced from him playing a receiver, you know, I think he kind of brings a, a quick scat back type of um, player to the running back position. Steven. Slade, despite all that, that that went on against A&M, there was a huge moment on special teams. Ja'Cory Brooks blocking the punt there. You, of course, being a special teams guy, seeing a young guy do that, how much excitement does that bring you seeing the, the freshman go out to block that punt? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was very excited. I think the whole team was excited, uh, not only for him, but also just a big momentum shifter for us. Uh, allowed us to, you know, get points back on the board and also, you know, just bring some momentum towards our sideline 
and it was a very big play and you know we were very very excited and very happy that it was to happen Michael yeah a lot of talk about halftime after the game what have you seen since Saturday night since you guys got back to Tuscaloosa what has how's the mentality looked um practice film everything um I think we're just more intent on focusing on uh our job and kind of uh, kind of looking at yourself in the mirror and kind of realizing, um, you know, what it may take. You know, you can you can motivate, you can talk about as much as you want, but it's really you know self motivation that's going to get you uh, to the where you need to do. And that's whether that's playing with effort, knowing your plays, knowing uh, the scheme for the for the game, and also just doing the little things right. You know, whether that's going to class, showing up to meetings on time, and being respectful in any manner. And I think we all had to come to the realization that we need to do a better job of that. Charlie. We're halfway through the season now. Just what have you thought of the way that, that Bryce has led the offense and the way that he's performed uh, through the first half of the season? I think Bryce has done a great job uh, so far. Um, he's becoming a, a good leader for us on offense. Uh, he's very smart with the ball, makes great plays, finds his receivers. Uh, you know, does a good job of uh, checking with O line and make sure everybody's in the right position at the right time. And uh, I, you know, I think he'll continue to do that. And I have all um, all confidence and uh, faith in him. Thank you, Slade. Thank you all. You have a blessed one.